Work on what could be one of Australia's largest carbon capture and storage projects has started on Queensland's Western Downs. If successful, the project could capture more than half a billion tonnes of carbon dioxide, but critics say it's providing false hope. On the plains of Queensland's Western Downs, work has started on a project that could decide the future of carbon capture and storage in Australia. If we get it wrong, it'll be even harder for the next people to do it. At Mooney, coal giant Glencore, through its subsidiary CTS Co, plans to spend millions of dollars on a three-year trial to inject carbon dioxide into the ground. It started the approvals process for the demonstration project, with plans to store more than 110,000 tonnes of carbon a year from the nearby Milmerran power station. The Nationals have thrown their support behind the project. This is an investment in particularly uh, those areas like Maranoa that are heavy in resources and in energy production. So this is encouraging that we're saying to not only Australia but to the world that this technology can reduce our emissions. But critics are scathing saying promises carbon capture and storage could save Australia's coal industry and nothing but false hope. When you actually do the numbers, basically, you, you, you find very, very quickly that it's, it's just impossible to do to decarbonise the fossil fuel industry in any way, shape or form. If the project is shown to be viable, CTS Co is not only hoping to capture carbon emissions from the Mumaran power station here, but from other industries, including cement production and steelmaking. They have to have a solution for, for, for carbon long term. I think the ability to emit CO2 unabated in the future, will, will, will those days are numbered. That, at least, is something almost everyone can agree on. David Chen, ABC News, Milmerran.